<laughs> you can see there at the bottom of the corner at the bottom of the screen it says 99% and it won't actually let me do anything. Which is cool. So we can't stream it. Oh yeah, can't stream. Oh yeah. Get good. No live. That was pretty good. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Chris? We're gonna do environments because we haven't uh, really done no, it, have we? We haven't, and it's one of your like. Your your special skills, I'll say. Well, it's, there's a lot of environment artists, but like 3D ones. And mm. you have so to. So we are we talking about 2D, 3D today? Both. Okay. It just makes sense to picture it before you jump in, and go straight for building it. Yes. So. Uh, we should go through. Oh, I'm, I'm back. By the way, I've been missing for a couple of weeks, so hello. Hello, Kieran. Who's this guy? Do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us what you're about. Um, you're maybe maybe show some of your work. <laughs> my my name is Rick. Is what? <laughs> yeah. Just my, name is... <laughs> my name is. Rick. My name is. My name is Yoshi. Nice to meet you. I Rick. use 3ds Max. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Why is he making Yoshi? <laughs> Okay, so, uh, oh bloody hell, I dropped something. It's okay, we can edit this out. We can yeah, put in like a letter at that moment. So, shall we go over what we've been doing for the past, what is it, nine weeks? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm interested to, because, because like, I, had, I didn't get to see your guys work and stuff. So. It's a shame because I've just finished my project that I've done over the last couple of weeks. But are you allowed to show anything from that or is that or no, no, no. It's concept car? So I can't. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> flying car. Yeah, I'm really happy with it as well. Like, it looks really good, and I'm like, oh, I was thinking cars. it was like, oh, it's looking good. flying car. Oh, I can't. Well, you know, I'm not gonna say anything about what mode of car this is. Whether it's it's a car. Let's put it that way. You know. Without wheels, because it flies. <laughs> Flying cars confirmed. Hey Mike, show us your things. Yes, confirmed. I haven't seen any flying cars yet. Uh, okay. On one out station. Yeah, this is, see. This is that station. And, uh, yeah, this is what I've been working on for the last three weeks. Uh, Man. This is Blizzard. so nice. Oh, yeah, this is really good. You, I love it so much. You follow like a tutorial for this, right? Like a yeah. really good, really helpful, really good stuff. Uh, this guy. Oh, I wanted to show it in case. Uh, I think this is my favorite thing that anyone's like ever made over these three projects. Oh, that I've done. Rigged it properly, gave it some cool stuff. That's cool, Mike. That's awesome. Cheers, man. Uh... So cool. It's my favourite. It's those clothes folds. There's a little environment for it as well. It's so yeah, nice. It's I haven't done one of those in ages. Ah. That's... Calm down, Mike. Calm down. Yeah, Did you paint in that lighting or is that lit inside Um I used to think, mainly the, this whole tutorial thing, the one thing I'd say is the most useful thing from it is uh, he bakes out a world space normal map. Yeah, yeah, so you can yeah. get the light. So here's all the skulls. Makes out, yeah, this this normal map, and then he selects the green channel from it, which is all the lighting from top down. Yeah. And then, oh, okay. uh, you can put that on a multiply layer over your um, your AO, your ambient occlusion map, mm. and uh, that gives you like all the lighting that you did in your like sculpt. Basically, bakes out what you want from your sculpt. Like a which is so idea. helpful. Did you make these world space bakes when they're in pose as well, so you get the shadows, or is it just? From the, um, I was, uh, there was, you can definitely set it up with lights. I didn't, just because I wanted the, the basic one. But yeah, you can set up, and so it'll bake the lights for that scenario. Also. Yeah. But I don't know if you'd want that for a game where you're like running around. You kind of want the general. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. I don't know. So, yeah, it was really fun there. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really. Cool. Oh, that's a lot from it. 
Matt so was doing something like that as well. With the baking mm. and the channels. Yeah. Pretty centric. But it's really cool. I'm going to click on that. And then click on the link that you put. Really actually. Fun stuff. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, quite pricey, the tutorial, but um, it's worth it. Actually, if you, any of you guys need a little, I'll give it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna click on it. Yeah, I would yeah. like it. Like that's good it. stuff. Um, yeah, that's me. Someone else wanna show what they've been working on? Kieran? You wanna? Kieran? Show what you've been working on? Kieran? I think Kieran's died. Hello, Kieran? <laughs> Kieran? Oh, he's doing something. Oh, so he can hear us. He's moving. We can't just, hear him. He's just not saying anything. He might, I don't know. Explain through sign language. Can, can you hear? Oh, you, oh, really quietly, really quietly. Can, yeah. can you, and that was it. Can you, Ow. Come on, Karen, you can do it. Hello. Hello, Poppy. Hey. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Are we good? Okay. Um, are you looking at my screen? Yes. Can you see yeah. my screen? Yes. Yeah, we can see your screen. You're on our station. Um, funny thing is, alright, when you search Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> <laughs> the first one. That's really weird. You done any Banjo Kazooie stuff? <laughs> um, yeah. So my last project was Rooftop. Nice shot. You got yeah. the New York Rooftop. Foliage is so good there. Thank you very much. Be nice. Um, projects was to make a New York Rooftop for a run and gun game. Third person, I think. Yeah, third person. I kind of made it Last of Us instead. Yeah, I was just thinking. That's the yeah. Because um, obviously I want to be an environment artist, so I chose this one. Making props for days, as you do. Mad concepting. That's what we're going to talk to about today, right? Yeah. You <laughs> wee. That's cool. nice, man. That's a lot of work for three weeks. Yeah, I don't know how you pulled it off. It's <laughs> it's really weird. It's it doesn't seem like three. It, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like an FMP. It does, yes. <laughs> but you, it's it, that it's kind three of, weeks. Yes. <laughs> it's that kind of quality and quantity of an FMP, but uh, it's done in three weeks. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see what you do for FMP. I think to be honest. I like shots like that, Kieran. where it's just flat shaded. I think yeah. that is nice, it looks good. I think Kieran's cut out again there. Yeah, you can... We can match his, his lovely work. He's probably explaining something like that. Yeah, he's like, look at the, the trees. trees. Look at my leaves. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's saying anything. Can you not hear me? Are you serious? Oh, we heard you then. We heard oh you my god, can you not hear me? <laughs> I was just talking for like fucking five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Okay, so I did this one as well. <laughs> I, I did this as well. Oh yeah, the, the, what, one day's work or something, I imagine. Not yeah, okay, that. yeah, so, um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's out again. Uh, so you know, <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> it's whenever he explains something, whenever <laughs> he's about to say something important, that's when it goes. That's the higher mean. ups are cutting him out, yeah. so he doesn't share all the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> it really is, and then whenever he's hello, like, hello, hello, <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello, 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 okay. hello, okay. hello. We heard you then, but yeah. I think he's gone now. Oh no. <laughs> Should we just move on? Move swiftly on. <laughs> Chris, what are you what are you working on? <laughs> uh, what did I do? I did um the Epic City project. I don't think you're screen sharing, by the way. You don't think I'm screen sharing? Would you guys That's say not. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys say you've been um you've like learned a lot as each project's gone forward and things? Or... Oh, really? Yeah, totally. I mean yeah. <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> Basically, you've got to design loads of cities, and it's painting forever, and it's all right, but I got bored. 
So I'll just start with <laughs> thumbnails. I'll probably show you how to do these in a bit, actually. Yeah, that'd be awesome. They're just really quick and dirty thumbnails, but they're very easy to do. Mm. And they're very quick at getting paintings out and ideas mm. and shapes. Uh, I've put two cities up so far, or some of them for a minute. Oh, the street. Yeah, I like the street one you did. Was that actually related to the project with us? Yeah, yeah, not? yeah. Yeah. This one's like... Oh, um, Entrance structure. What's the friggin' thing from Star Wars? Where the Ewoks live? Oh, yeah. Endor. Star Wars, Kevin Endor. says. Um, Endor. Endor, yeah. It's like Endor. Uh, I see what Kieran's doing. He's got his... Uh, uh, got it now. He's got his pen and paper. Yes. yes. <laughs> Here's Endor, and then you keep going further that way, you fall off the cliff and die. Yeah. And then the other one was sort of... They discovered electricity. Oh, beautiful. And they just oh. abused the hell out of it. <laughs> oh, so it's the same city then, type thing? Oh, no, that, oh that, that's, that's amazing. That's that one city. Oh, the lighting, Chris. The lighting <laughs> skills. Bills. It's kind of like... Oh, um, London. Like this is the Thames. If they discovered electricity, maybe at that in like seventeen hundreds. Mm. So easy river and it's all dirty and yeah, it's built inside a mountain. There's another shot of it. I've not put it on here actually. That shows the whole outside with the, the cliff face and everything. It's all like um, acid rain coming down. So they live inside. This, uh, these city ones feel quite different to the sort of stuff you normally paint. Did you like look at any tutorials, or did you look at some other artists or stuff, or did you just go straight into it? The skills you were I just went into it really, but like, yeah, like that one there. Yeah. Obviously that one there, and that's just kind of how they formed. Hmm. And then whether it's layering photos to get things to happen, or layering strokes or layering in 3D like that one there. It just got me to the end, I guess. It's quite Did you do some 3D and stuff as well? Yeah, to yeah. To capture some of that. That one's completely oh, 3D modelled, that is. You can go around that. Oh, okay. And it, okay. Wait a minute, let me... Did you put some light in? Uh, I can't see it. There we go. Year 3, City... That's the wrong folder. <laughs> yeah, like, I had loads of sketches of cities and stuff. If you can see that. Mm -hmm. This is one that I didn't even use. <laughs> I didn't like it. I can say this isn't anything. <laughs> it's not loading. Why is it not? Oh, there we nice go. Nice spines. Some water features. I had a lot of things. I had a lot of sketches that were never used. Yeah? Oh my god, there's more here. So it was quite a large body of work then. Yeah. The, yeah. Like in the background here, I had all the rocks modeled and stuff for some reason. Seen those ones, I think. Yeah. And the brief was what a city inspired by 1700s. Ideal. Yeah, it's a 1700s fantasy, which kind of contradicts the other. <laughs> yeah, because one's like a historical year, and then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and fantasy is. But it seems like you could do anything with it because you did like. You can yeah. Some crazy stuff. Josh McGann, he did uh, like space things. Real abstract stuff, and yeah, he could do it. Momo changes Romans and things. Yeah, you can literally do anything you want. Mm. Just how one. you interpret it. This is like a Caribbean yeah, setting one. I really like that. Yeah, it's nice. Still cool. working on these ones. So. Got like this pearlescent. Hey uh, Chris, could you um could you select your name on the uh, hangout so that it stays on you? I've just noticed that every time you talk, it jumps to our screen. <laughs> Lel. So. Yeah, I, I did a few for him, but you know they're all kind of sketches. 
Mm. Is this going to open up? Come on. Yeah, like that was going to be another one for this. But I couldn't be bothered. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and that was those three weeks. It was alright. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think you achieved a lot. I really like it then. It's alright. <laughs> I think everyone around here achieved a lot. Everyone did really well. I've been working on this one. Everyone more, did amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see it. Let's see that. Yeah, I was looking at this uh, earlier and I was like, oh, you were. I did a bit more on it a few weeks ago, and then uh, I was repainting all the textures. Basically, that's all I've been doing. Mm. Sorry, marmoset's broken, so I can't do anything. <laughs> GG, marmoset. <coughs> Let's open it up again. That's quick. I was just repainting everything, basically. Let's get yeah. Nice. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. It's a flat colour. Yeah, I was like repainting all the wood and stuff. Mm. Just to make it mm. look okay. Consistent, basically. Mm. I've not done any of this down here yet. Redoing the base, I'm redoing the rocks. Because before it was kind of that in between stage of like PBR and hand painting. Mm. And it was a bit weird. Yeah, there was like a some metalness maps or something. I had metalness maps in reference. Like there was on it. one, one, one tap and thing, and it was like one, only one or two things have the maps on, and not all of it. Look at the texture in here. It's like actually, I'll put it in. Oh, put it in flat shade. It's all you got like dirt here and stuff. And look, yeah. that's terrible, man. Come on, <laughs> it doesn't look good at all. The saving grace of this is literally the fact that there's a black outline and emissive maps. <laughs> mm. That's what saves this. But yeah, still working on that. Be sweet. Should we uh, move on to the main part of the show then? Ugh. Yeah. Environment extravaganza. Yeah, should we just do uh, thumbnailing? Do you want to do thumbnailing? Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah, no, can, can you guys hear me now? Oh, hey. Yes, you. we can. Oh. What, what happened? happened? Okay. So what have you I've, been? I've been saying hello like for a while. <laughs> I think my headset's running out of battery, so... Why does it have battery? It's wireless. <laughs> 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 you made a big error there, didn't you, Kira? <laughs> does it not have a charge? Point. Sorry, it, it does, yeah, I've got it plugged in now. Yeah. Um, but do, you, do you guys want to do some thumbnails of a house in a forest? That's uh, that's fun, right? You guys should do that. We could try, but I was going to show you something. I was going to show something more abstract. Right. We can put a house in. We can put a house in. House, so. so all yeah, I'm going to do, house. I've got my grid, I'm just going to chuck photos in, like, just chuck them in guys, this is how you win. Okay. And uh, where do you like, go to get like this kind of reference photo stuff? Uh, my hard drive, uh, mm -hmm. my website, <laughs> uh, or mm -hmm. Google. <laughs> When you mean your website, you mean uh, the old, old CL, B, or Look, there's else? Robert Smith. Let's put him in there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he got old really quick, but he like wears the same clothes, so he looks. That's really the uh, the secret to good concept, isn't it? You got to put Robert Smith. You throw in. Robert Smith in. Yeah, if you look on every masterpiece, it's always got Robert. even like. You look at something off. like the Vitruvian Man, or you know, <laughs> actually, actually, you have a lot of pictures of. Uh, I'm on Google. Oh, I'm not on my hard drive. That one there, the one where he's older. I was at that gig. <laughs> For you. Yeah. <laughs> if that's the Reading one. <laughs> I'm just looking for colours at the moment. Hmm. Could be. <laughs> <as well. laughs> 
Okay, let's actually get my pen tablet. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to catch up. I'm, uh, I've made a, a thumbnail shape. I don't think Pembrush yeah. is actually on on my tablet. Oh, no. I do not check mine yet, either. So we're all falls apart. It's like this is my live episode. Oh, it is on. Because... It just feels really weird. <clears throat> I think I broke it. So, um, it's just about layer styles, just change it until something looks cool. Mm. Yeah, that looks cool. Next one. Layer style. None of them look cool really, so I'm just going to blend it like that. Next one. about getting cool colours. Oops. <laughs> Bit of Robert. Bit of old Robbie. And basically you're getting your colour, you're getting the shapes down, you're getting your shadows, your highlights, your midtones. You're not even doing anything. Mm. <laughs> Just kind of effortless. Uh, let's find some more pictures. A tree. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, I hit the wrong button there. You pretty much do this until you can see something. Mm. It's like looking at clouds. My dad's shouting at the dog. He can understand you. Keep going. Uh, do you always work like this, Chris? No. <laughs> oh. It's just really fun. Is this a. Uh... Is this something you did on your most recent project? Yeah. Um, so roughly how long would you like spend doing this? It's just until you see something? Or... Yeah, it's like 20 minutes of putting photos down. Yeah. It's quite a long time for your photos, really. Hmm. <laughs> Hey Kieran, I know you're uh, a fan of the Final Fantasy. Did you see the? Oh boy, Final Fantasy oh, Seven. Yeah. yeah. So what? Look good, didn't it? Oh. Yeah. What? 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 What's that? They're remaking Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. And then like right. a gameplay trailer came out. Yeah. Look good. Very yeah. nice. Did you get hit with that nostalgia? I got. I got a. Uh... I dabbled in it. I dabbled in the nostalgia. <laughs> Dabble nostalgia. I it's, I think they've taken out. There's like um, it used to be like I don't know what's it called. Like chess, where it's like you move first and then the enemy moves. What is that called again? Oh, yeah, Tempest, yeah. Mm. But I think they've made it like a more an action adventure kind of style game where you just run around hitting people. I've always liked that more, the kind of Kingdom Hearts style. Yeah. It's looking very nice though. Mm. I, I asked for a PlayStation 4 for Christmas. Probably not going to get it, but... <laughs> worth an ask. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, but... this, right? I'm just going onto Google Images and just typing in random stuff and then pulling it. Yeah, like Google yeah, Maps even. Cool one. Google Maps I'm, uh, views I'm and one of a goat. <laughs> Let me put that in. So you do this forever until you see something cool. Yeah. That's basically how it goes.
Why did you uh, kind of learn this? Uh, Feng Ji. Ah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's got the, the skills to pay the bills. It has. <laughs> it's a lot of bills. There's a lot of bills. Um, do, do you guys want to talk about FMP while while you're doing this? Um, sure. Okay, for yeah, so, um, so being third years, we do an FMP at the end of the year. We're just about to start it. We're having our presentations next week. Um, so we should pretty much have an idea of what we're going to do by now. I yeah. mean, that's... I don't really... Well, we kind of have a decent idea. Kind of. So, yeah, um, me and Callum, Callum Bellis, shout out, <laughs> we're, um, we're partying up and we're doing uh, an environment. It's going to be... This is why I wanted you guys to join like a house in the woods because it's pretty much that. <laughs> Are you not doing a space barn? No, we're not doing that anymore. Oh, I like that idea. Space barn? Space Bonnie. Oh, okay. I, I mean, yeah, no, see, what I was telling you guys is probably cut out. That's what this was. This was, like, the test. When this I did... Project. Um, can, you, can you hear me, guy? Am I cut out? Am yeah, I cut out? okay. Yeah, no, so, but now... Um, no, see, we went in, right, and the tutors, they said we were playing it safe. You were playing it safe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just doing, like... We, we were going to have, like, a relatively small environment have plants like overgrown kind of stuff but they told us like yeah no go bigger <laughs> pretty much okay. um so now what we're going to do is it's a house in the woods with a basement that that's like the the simple way of explaining it have you asked the teachers about it yet or oh, not not really, but we've got it planned out already, so it's, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, it sounds kind of boring, right? But what we're gonna do is we want we want there to be like three main environments, so they all kind of feel different, but they're still in Link one the world. Same theme and stuff. Yeah. So you've got like the forest is one environment. You've got the inside of the house, which is gonna be like the archives, so like really detailed, high quality assets, and then. Spooky science, almost, in the basement. So you're still doing spooky science? Yeah, but not spooky science plants. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's cool. we're, we're trying to make it... Like, have you guys played Uncharted? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you know of it, okay. You know when you like you find like the special item you can pick up and you kind of rotate it and stuff? Uh-huh. We want to have it so then in the house you can do that, okay. but then each item that you can do that with has a clue that leads to the the secret basement. So you got like you you make it like a full game. Then. Yeah, so kind of it's a small house, right? But inside the house, the hero assets tell a story. Cool. Sounds it's cool. like a police detective goes into the house. Do you have any like mood balls or anything? No, we're we're gonna start that now. <laughs> we we um we've got this MS Paint concept art, which is just like all scrim. And stuff. But it ex- explains the idea pretty well. Fine to have MS Paint. You know, what's it like all those devs? They're always like, oh, I came up with this idea. I was in a cafe and drew it on it. That's yeah, 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 that's, yeah that's what it is. And that's how Halo was born. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. But yeah, no, that's um, that's what we're doing. Yeah, I forgot you guys had the reviews from the teachers. So, Chris, what's your plan? Uh, what a few. Uh, I told you about the other one the other day, which was sort of retro sci-fi. Uh, so someone from the past's interpretation of the future. Yeah. Retro futurism. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that would have been a horror game kind of thing. Oh, spooky. Sporty. But then the thing that I've been enjoying most recently is like hand painting stuff. Yeah? It's like what the hell am I doing with all this realistic stuff if I just want to do hand painted? 
So I might do something based on that. Okay. Fair enough. Well, you like campaign things anyway, don't you? You like Riot games and. Yeah, stuff, exactly. So. And I was thinking back to our, our trip, you know, when we went to yeah. Blue Bay. Hmm. I was thinking oh, Pirates Carol. Cove. Oh, yeah, Pirates Cove. Yeah. That would be good. That would be really That'd be a good. Style. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would work. That'd be awesome. Are you doing uh, 3D or 2D? 3D. Oh, don't do 3D, man. Why? Yours, yours is going to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't okay, be so good, Chris. Fail. <laughs> you better bloody fail, Chris. Damn it. You got any, like, ideas of, uh, like, sort of, what you're going to be looking at for inspiration then, or is this like still like really, really undefined at the moment for you? Uh, yeah, it's pretty undefined. It'll be like an environment at the coast, pirate themed, hand painted, stylized, and a little city, a little village. Sounds good. That'll be cool. It'll be a nice contrast from your um, your Alice work. Yeah. I'm thinking cool. about getting a job, that's all at the moment. And who do I want to work for? And then do I tailor mm. that, what I'm doing now, to that company? And yes is the answer, I should do that. And then you yeah. get a job there. Boom. Yeah, see, yeah, that's like when we had our reviews, right? The teachers, like, when we pitched our idea, it would just be modelling couches and sofas and stuff for 20 weeks. And they're like, you don't want to do that's boring. But actually, that's what I want to do. Yeah. Like, man, I would love to just get a job. It's like... Working at IKEA, just modelling stuff for that yeah. Visualization at IKEA. So you, you work to, for the job you want. Yeah, you do. That's why we're here. Okay. And Mike, what about you, Mikey man? Um, I, I don't know. I've been playing around with a lot of ideas. I think but I have a lot of stuff after I spoke to like uh, Del Walker. He basically said a lot of things very different to the tutors, but with the tutors same reasoning, like the tutors would say like, oh, you'd want to do this thing because it, it makes sense for getting a job. And then he was saying, well, no, you'd want to do this depending on the kind of job you want. And the kind of job I'd want is something in his kind of department the area, hmm. in that kind of like creative assembly or ninja theory. Mm -hmm. Those kind of coming on. So I want to, he was saying like, you'd want to realistically be doing one or two characters amazingly yeah whereas the tutors are saying stuff like uh you want to do like 10 yeah they're saying like more than three like, yeah all the characters are like no we're doing three but uh which I, I think that their reasoning for it made sense but after speaking to del walker who's actually in a triple a company yeah. making characters he was like no nah, in that time you did realistically want like two amazing characters why did the, what was the teacher's reasoning behind um, I think they had uh, some industry people, I think it was natural motion people saying, oh, these characterized had, you know, months and months and they only created three characters. Um, so they were trying to, like, tailor towards showing what can they people do in that time. Oh, okay. But so it's a mix between quantity and quantity. Well, it's For what I actually want to do, though. It's well, though, isn't it? Creative stuff. Yeah, yeah, totally. So it's... It, that's a tricky one, so I've been thinking about that a lot. But um, in terms of what I actually want to do, I'm thinking about creating these, like, it will most likely be sci-fi, because that's what I enjoy. Um, but these collection of characters, but I'll, like, design the world around them as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe have, like, quite a bit of involvement in concepting that. Um, but, yeah, basically just nail, like, three or four characters. I was thinking of doing like maybe this like this like garage rock band, but they're like these just like collection of crazy looking aliens that are in this band. That's that's going on like, this tour. So like maybe like the drummer has like loads of arms and stuff like that. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. And just go really crazy on those details and stuff. So you're not going to be working in like a group or anything anymore because I know you're on that. Uh, no, I um, I was I was definitely considering it. But uh, yeah, talking to Dell, he was like, 
with a lot of group work. Um, sometimes they don't even bother looking at it because they can't be bothered to like sift through what work you did and what work other people have done. Mm. So if they know someone who's like done this thing, they might just go straight for them. So I was thinking about that, and I was like, I oh, probably, uh, I think I'd be happier on my own for this kind of project. It's kind of limp. I think my PC is just broken, so. Luckily, I'm also on my laptop, so... <laughs> hey, there's Robert Smith. Oh, God. <laughs> I just spotted him <laughs> in the mess. <laughs> yeah, he's still there. He's still, he's still showing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's kind of my thoughts at the moment. In terms of actually presenting something, yeah, I'm not really sure. We can still, like, sign up for, like, an obsession to, like, go in and discuss stuff. So I might go into that with like a few of the ideas I'm playing around with and see what they say. So is that not an official uh, um, session either? We have, a, we have an official presentation at the end of the week. Is that right, guys? It's next week on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Not not the coming week, the following. Oh, okay. So yeah, then. Um, but this this uh, this week coming up right now, uh, we can like do drop-in sessions, I think, or like sign up, talk about stuff. Yeah. Sounds cool, sounds cool. Yeah, my PC's just died. Ben, how can we hear you? Wah, wah, wah. Let's try that again. Ooh. Yeah, I know this is supposed to be environments, and I'm, I'm not really doing an environment. What are you, what are you doing there, Kieran? I'm making Yoshi. Yoshi. You're still making Yoshi. <laughs> It's Yoshi. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun. Yeah, see what um what I was told right by by Dell, not Dale. <laughs> um like 'cause okay, the in being an environment officer, I always thought it's like the big picture, that's what you want to get right. But you was telling me is like what well, loads of people have been telling me is you want to focus like on the small scenes mm. and then build it out from there rather than work on the larger picture which is what I've been doing like the past couple of projects yeah so hopefully for FMP we can work on the small scale and then expand rather than it sounds like picture. something in um storyboarding for films when they like develop a storyboard for like animated films and stuff They'll go crazy with like all these, like just tons of stuff, and then they'll find one specific one, like a tiny little thing. That's exactly what they're looking for, and then they'll like zoom in on that, and then they'll get that perfect, and then they'll start building and do it from that one scene or something. So, yeah, it sounds cool. Yeah. 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 So you're gonna. Yeah, everyone's so, we, so yeah, no, we've got three environments gonna just like with environments. Like what I've been told as well is you wanna choose four scenes, just four like screenshots you're gonna take and just make that one scene look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rather than like the whole level looking good. Yeah. So essentially, you're gonna do that, hopefully. Nice. Do you have an idea of what you would do? Max, if you if you're doing SMP, I've had some ideas, but it's no like there's like lots of things going around in my head at the moment because it's like every day it's like changing, like thinking, oh, I could do this, I could do this. To be honest, I've just been trying to focus on like personal work, but I'm always so tired when I get back from uh, from work, work. So it's like, how's um how's your onion guy? Oh, I've stopped him. Oh, oh really? No. Tem temporary, temporarily stopped. Cause bring back on in twenty twelve. <laughs> I'll I'll bring him back. I'll bring him back. He'll he'll come back eventually. Just next year. Thinking around I don't know. Easter sort of time. But I've been like trying to plan projects. For like what I need to do this year. So at the moment I'm just doing this stylized uh, diorama thing. I I know they've changed the brief to WoW now, I'm not doing that, I've already got some of the stuff done for this, so but like um then I'm gonna do what's it? Then some realistic robot-y things like the Fallout brief thing. Then realistic character, realistic environment, and then 
see what happens from there, see how I'm enjoying things mm. and stuff. It's got like some briefs, but it's like trying to balance it with like work and uh, I'm just supposed to be, make, uh, like, I want to try and make the most of being here, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a really hard thing because like if I stay in and do work, when I get to work the next day and my boss is like, did you do anything on the weekend? I'm like, nah, mate, when I should have done something really, you know? Hmm. Cause it's like here, close to the mountains and stuff. I think I am going skiing in a week or two, but yeah, I saw I saw that on um, that picture you were um, tagged in, where you're just looking at the Alps. That's yeah, like, tough work, Max, is it? Huh? Look, yeah. <laughs> what? That <laughs> was Alps, that huh? was that was um, the trip to Zermatt. That was the same time I went skiing the other time. <laughs> he just posted it. It was oh. the weirdest thing. I was like, why have they just posted these post these pictures now? So it looks like I've been like having tough times missing labs, but <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say something after John was like commented on it, like oh, missing labs, guys. <laughs> thinking like every time I go somewhere now, I want to like get a picture and be like tag John and saying like I'm missing labs so much. <laughs> do it, do it. But I haven't been anywhere. Right. <laughs> so go somewhere. I'm bad at the well, I went to uh, Nuremberg last weekend for the Christmas market, and it was snowing, and it was like full, thick snow on the train ride there. It was nice. Mm. Yeah. Christmas, but yeah, it's all good. But yeah, um, I guess I was thinking like maybe um, for an environment, I was considering like a uh, like a trench thing, like a World War One, just like a, a small underground sort of room really small scene environment and just really get it looking woof, on point that like cool. lots of like world war one like the muddy boots and like some like a little chair like an officer's sort of quarters yeah. and there's like pictures like little photos on like the wall and some candles and then like some cloth curtains with a light behind them for like the bed and stuff like a chess game or something like a kind of like very small cramped space but with a lot of stuff sort of going on and try and make it sort of come to life. That's what I was that thinking. That was cool. one of the ideas. Yeah. Or um, what else was I thinking? Oh, like a biome type thing, but that might be a bit done. Like a like a just a biodome type thing. Mm -hmm. Like a desert sea cliff or something. I don't know. I saw like this thing in uh, Copenhagen. I've forgotten what it's called, but I did some drawings of it, and I know what to. It's next, like one of the museums, and it's like. That sound that looks pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I was also that was about it to be honest. I wasn't sure about doing characters or anything. I think it'd be an environment rather than. But I didn't know what I want to do yet to be honest. So it could be anything. It could be anything. Maybe even vehicles. Slowly liking cars more and more. Well, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was thinking like I could do like a fucking jet bike or something. It's always like fun. A flying car, maybe. You know, mix it up. Ah, uh, well, you know, don't want to do too much of what I've been uh, doing on it. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no flying cars that I know of. Da, da, da. Uh, Chris, I see you moved on a bit. Do you want to explain? Uh, what you're yeah, doing basically. Stage? You look for things, you see it, and then you paint them. Um, <laughs> with these, though, they're, they're pretty simple. All you've got to do is uh, just just think about how your eyes see things. So you got your sky. There's your sky. Yeah. And then you've got your ground. And then, I don't know, something in the foreground. That's what you've got to think of when you're doing the landscape. Because that's essentially what you're looking at, just landscapes. Okay. So you're looking at for that in these, uh, these yeah, images? Yeah, so like, so th this one here. Yeah. Uh, you've got a really dirty sky. What's going on here? Look, it's connecting weird. You're not going to take that green and make the sky green. Because then... Uh, this like tree line, you'll lose that. That's what you want. 
because that's what's making the shape. That's what I can see so far. There's a waterfall there, and it looks like a kind of swamp. Yeah. So I'll take the white, or the, the grey, and paint that into that bit. And you've almost got a painting already. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty simple. That one on the the middle on the the left hand side really reminds me of uh, Mont Saint Michel or whatever in Cornwall when we went there. Saint Michael's Mount. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's two of them in there. That's there's the one in France and yeah. there's one in yeah, yeah. Just Keep on thinking of the same place, but it's not. This one was pretty simple. It's already almost a painting. It's starting to make sense already. That one. You get this sometimes when you've got weird perspective. So I can see like immediately this, and then you've got a tree line, and you're overlooking something. Mm. But I can also see like the perspective going this way on the ground yeah. over here, like that. <laughs> so which one do I go for? Um, both. You can do both. Oh, here we go. Put the Doing trays both. in. I think that dark. There we go. Just make sure the trees are actually visible because they're cool. And then that's going to come down here like a, like rocks. We don't want cars. And then this is our land across here. And then we're looking over hills. Did you just flatten that black here in it and then just put it in substance? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm really considering buying um I pack that. Like why? I I just I think I'm just gonna have to buy it. Just cut out all the work. <laughs> I mean have you uh, have you seen it? It just ugh, yeah, it's, it's, awesome. <laughs> it's so good. It's awful. I mean, like, especially, like, for FMP, I think it's, like, it'd be great to, like, save time on, on that stage, you know, because, you, you know, you spend a while packing. It's an art in itself, though. And then it That's removes true. that, and it looks... The packing's not very good, it's... <laughs> I don't know. I, I usually spend my time, like, the unwrapping and packing stage of a project is when I get to watch a TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> Yeah, what well, well, me and Callum have been talking about, right, is we're going to get, like, because we're sitting next to each other, we both have two screens, we're going to try and find another screen or a laptop, put it in the middle, and then just play films and TV shows. <laughs> we can just watch while we're working. You just start arguing over which film to watch, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like the worst idea, but <laughs> sounds great. That's a nice blue. Mm. So yeah, you can just do this for ages and then out of that we've got like one, two, maybe four paintings that you know you can actually clean up and get somewhere with. Mm. Like this one's cool. We keep working on this. Someone <laughs> share. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
That was a nice day. Did the wall colours got wet? Yeah. Broke my fuse. Kieran performs the legendary quadruple ruse. What? Wait, what? <laughs> you know when we were at the mountain, there was like the... It was like the binoculars. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That was... That was... That was crazy. <laughs> the ruse cruise. There was too many ruses in these cruises. <laughs> Rusing for a cruise and... <laughs> There's too many ruses, not enough cruisers. <laughs> it was pretty sneaky there, I must say. Is there another brush I can use? Yeah. No. Not for you. Ugh. My tablet is so shit. Do you go okay, you you're you're artists, right? You guys use tablets. What's a good um what's a good one to buy? This one's alright. Oh, not not yeah. the really small ones. So yeah, like really small small. One. That's the one I'm using right now. I'm using that too. I'm using that. You're using a small one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, I hate the small ones. They're too small for me. I hate the big ones. Okay. I find the tools don't matter too much. Um, the big ones are good for, like, moving your whole arm instead of just your wrist. See, I'm uh, lazy. I like the wrist. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's definitely just preference, but I've had a full arm. I guess yeah, one will make you draw better than the other. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I do like the uh, portability of the small ones. Though. Yeah, mm. I just put them in my bag, and it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, take it around anyway. I'd love to have a Cintiq. Oh, or a Cintiq companion. I'd oh. get a companion. Maybe not a Cinti, because well, I would have, but I put it on my desk, so I'm looking down instead mm -hmm. of looking like straight with my arm up in the air for ten hours a day. Which is kind of bad in the labs. Yeah. Can't oh, it. fuck my PC broke again. Why does I it keep breaking? Be able to join in with it. My PC is so shit. Stop breaking it, man. <laughs> I'm appreciating this breaking. So poo is what it is. I picked up a new art book today. Mm -hmm. I got the Dragon Age Inquisition one. Ooh. It's so good. It's got that new book smell. Oh, no. <laughs> Have you had a look at the? Has anyone had a look? A little peek at the Fallout art book. Uh, yeah. I put that thing in Get Good that was like ten of the pages of it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But oh, I bought it. Yeah, it doesn't arrive for ages though. Why doesn't it arrive? Oh, well, it's not out yet. Oh, is it oh. not? When no. uh, when does it come out? Um, sometime this month, I think. I thought it was already out, to be honest. No. Nah. I'll pretty it's, old it. See, I don't usually buy art books, but I'm, I'm really considering getting the Fallout one. I just because that one yeah. and the Mad Max one are ones I probably want to buy. I have the Mad Max one, that one's really good. Yeah, because I imagine it's is is it quite big? Because it's like such a body of pre-production work behind that film, or is it actually disappointing? Um, it's, it's big. It's uh, it's not. I don't, I don't think they have the whole. Because it was like ten years or something. It was wasn't ten it? years. Uh, that's they why have, I, they definitely have the whole length of work though. Like they show the beginning when it was like still. Uh, what was it? What's his name? Mel Gibson was still the idea for the character <laughs> back then and stuff. So. Yeah, they got like the whole however many years worth of work. At least some of showing some of it so you can see the progression. Hmm. It's really cool though. It's a lot of like uh photos of like the vehicles on set and stuff, so you can see like all their workings and stuff, which is pretty cool if you're into that, like real world ref. Alright. All, right. all that stuff is like practical, which is cool. Yeah, it's cool. The Fallout one looks good, yeah. Yeah. Fallout is. I just used a lighting cheat, by the way. If you want to know what that is. Yes, please. Okay, so it looks like that. It's already bright. These are the ones I've chosen to pick out because they like read the best. And then I'm just gonna add a layer style. 
and I'll use brightness and contrast and turn on the brightness. And this is just choosing where your light's going to hit. So it's really cheap. Mm. I'm just going to use a soft round brush and it's set to black or white you want black. And then Dirty just, tricks. Just paint where you want the light to be. It makes it more readable. And then you bring up the, you do it again, and then bring the brightness back up, so you see the rest of it. And you get like this one here is reading pretty well. This one, that one looks cool. Yeah, like desert sure or something. That one maybe not. You just have to turn it down more, and yeah, doesn't always work, but it's cool. So then it's just cleaning it up, getting rid of all the, rid of all like the artifacts, mm. and blending for hours. Yeah. Chris, um, just uh, out of curiosity, which do you prefer, two D or three D? Eh, they're both alright. Because yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. you've been doing two D longer, but. Your your free work looks like you have fun with it. Yeah, I have fun. It's all right. It's, it all kind of bores me, to be honest. <laughs> oh, well, Game well, one's well, kind well. of boring. <laughs> In general, as a career. Fair enough. It's like, oh, I can draw now. Okay. Hmm. I imagine you would ideally like something then where you can do both. You can yeah. kind of go between. Is it all in the chase for you, Chris? Yeah, I like learning. learning things. The learning, yeah. Because you get, like, I remember when we were, like, learning and off the map and stuff, you got really... Yeah, that was the best thing about that. You got really excited and stuff. Yeah. It was nice. It was really fun. It is fun when you like when you find out how to like do that one thing. And then you just your mind just goes like, oh now I can see what else I can apply it to and good stuff. It was really cool that was. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Oh yeah, Max, by the way, what I'm gonna try and do for this one, right, is I I heard you in your voice you were judging me when I said I flat mapped it. Nah, it wasn't really it's interesting. Just what, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it down, including the textures, to a lower poly. And then hopefully I'm going to just have this in like the corner of my room or something. Alright. That's the plan anyway. Um, I don't have... The ref I'm using is pretty shit, so... Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't. I don't mind. You can do what you want, Kieran. Thanks, Max. You can do what you want. <laughs> Cheers, Max. Cheers, Max. Cheers to Max. Cheers, Max. Cheers, Cheers Max. Pete. Cheers, Pete. <laughs> oh, I we think... can't see if um, anyone's. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> Completely forgot. No one's watching we're, this we're one. <laughs> Yeah, because the internet dumb goofed. That's why it's like we can't see if anyone's got any questions or anyone. Google doesn't work, man. Man, I'm so glad I like the page, the Vault of Atomic Space Age. They, uh, they have some really cool stuff. Yeah? Yeah. It's racist. Oh, I really like that one, Chris. That one's, that one's very tasty. Yeah. Max, have you um have you taken a look at the Halo Five stuff? I've watched all I watched all the cutscenes for it. No, no, no. I mean um, the artwork. No, no, I haven't. No spoilers, please. A lot of um, 
A lot of the artists oh, like published their work the other day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. All right, back in a second. Hang on. Like, oh, I started following the, this one person. I've, I'm not sure what their name is, but they made like the majority of the characters for the game. Yeah, yeah. I was mm -hmm. looking at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really cool. I didn't know they outsourced their like um, the like multiplayer stuff to another company as well. Oh, really? I think. It, yeah, I'm not sure what the company is called, but um, they made like the Moi player armor. So that's that's cool, something to to look into. Just the assets, though, not the actual game. Part yeah, no. Yeah. It's just like armor. Still pretty pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I wouldn't outsource like the entire multiplayer on the, something else. The main the main stuff. You want to do that in the house? <laughs> yeah. How does his eyes look? What? You guys are looking forward to Christmas. Yeah, and our, uh, me and Christy went out and bought our Christmas jumpers today. Huh. Oh, what, what did you get it from? Uh, we got it from a very nice place called uh, TK Maxx. Oh, I'll get our TK Maxx. <laughs> and uh, we got the, the perfect jumper. Ooh. So, is it yeah, look forward to that. Are you wearing it tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be wearing it tomorrow. I think I'll buy Christmas jumper. <laughs> I'm just cleaning this up right now. Um, did you guys ask for anything nice for Christmas? No, I just had my birthday, so I'm like... <laughs> no idea. Yeah, you're, you're good. <laughs> I'm fine for a bit. Yeah. Calm down, everybody. <laughs> Um, I think, well, as you can probably tell from today, I really need to update my PC. <laughs> so, probably gonna try and get something from that. Oh, this is so wrong. Oh my god. Let me have a what look at what that? you're making. I've not looked for ages. <laughs> I can't get his. And he looks too fit. Look at this body. What is this? <laughs> Like from certain angles, I'm I'm pretty pleased with, it. but then it's like, ugh. <laughs> he needs to be fatter. Ugh, whatever. All right. <laughs> this is a a chill way of working. I like this. It kind of just. Get you over some images. Go for something that works. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with this. It just, no, sorry. It just does it. <laughs> then you left with paintings. Yeah. Um, I've had like several attempts at the same stage, so <laughs> I think I'm learning. <laughs> so it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys going to be working on next week, by the way? Are you, so, you're just going to do the essay and then... Um, yeah, then just try and tidy up some stuff. I think my first project needs a lot of work. Lot of which work. Um, which one was your first? I did the uh, side of the ABA. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. you know, before they came out with the the WoW character thing, mm -hmm. what were you yeah. gonna do instead? I was gonna do the uh, Lay and Decker one. Kind of glad. That, well, I really wanted to do something two D. Yeah. But um, I still kind of really wanted to, but 
that was the only one that interested me the most. But yeah, people had already kind of nailed it. Yeah, so. that's what I was thinking. So it was, I don't think they'd be adding anything to it. But yeah, I really enjoyed this latest, latest project. That was uh, yeah, probably one of my best. So yeah. Definitely a lot from it. I knew exactly where I messed up on my AVA one because it was essentially the same brief limitation wise. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just it was Yeah. Just try to do yeah what I did wrong in that one again. I'm thinking about like for my AVA one, like creating a little scene where she's holding onto like a weather balloon or something, mm -hmm. trying to fire like a flare. See. And that might look really cool. So I might try to do that next week. I got a load of uh, really helpful crit from uh, Dale about my realistic character as well. Yeah, what's he saying? He's uh, talking about like, basically everything you do in the brush if you want it to like, be kind of a realistic character. Every like item on like the clothing or stuff needs to be like a separate sub tool. Yeah. So when it bakes down, it's really like nice. So that means you have to like really avoid like drawing lines into your like sculpt and like drawing bits out and stuff to like get like uh so if you want like a scene on like a character where like a pocket or something is or something that also be like separate sub tools and stuff like that. So and like the stitching would be separate sub tools. Which yeah. I didn't actually know, so that's really useful. That's how they worked at um Ready at Dawn, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, talking about that as well. They modelled all the fibres. <laughs> mm. Crazy. All separate subtitles that it breaks down yep. beautifully. So, I'm excited to try and put that into action. Yeah. Re apply some of that stuff to the character. Man, that Final Fantasy trailer is so cool. Yeah. It's like what so, I imagined it when I was a kid, you know, and you're playing yeah. it for the first time. So really shitty, low poly graphics, but then in your mind, that's what I saw. Man. I just wish he was wearing, like, a purple. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's wearing, it's like, Advent Children, kind of. Yeah, I want it to be, I want it to be, like, the purple. The purple was cool. I hope it's as goofy as the original. Which silly. See, no, I'm scared that they're not going to, because they're going to make it like... like... I was saying this before to uh, some of the people, but like, Final, like the company now, that do Final Fantasy screenings, they really, uh, like, it's really important for them, for like everything to be cool. Yeah. Like, being cool is more important than just like, being funny or goofy. And I think that might hurt this game. Though it's still probably going to be pretty good. I'm back. What's, what's going on? What's being... What's, what's the skinny? Not much. Final, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Okay. Yeah. Square Enix, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it not? Yeah. I think it is. Is it? Yeah. 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 They do a uh, Deus Ex. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they yeah, probably yeah. I think you just want to try make it. Yeah. Cool. I was away there, and you know, mum just called up. She was like, "Oh, what are you doing for Christmas?" And I was like, "Well, I'm, you know, going to Leicester for New Year, staying here for Christmas." And she was like, "What? And what? what why are you staying with us?" And I said, "Well, I asked you last week if you want me to come, and you said do what you want." <laughs> <laughs> I was asking you, "Do you want me to come back for Christmas?" And you said, "Doesn't matter. Do what you want." <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. So and then she's like, yeah, it's it's all a ruse. It was all a trap, yeah. just so, you know, just so she could have the high ground and be like, oh look, Max, what a dick, never visits his family on the on the you know <laughs> the holidays. She's like on about this party, but she's like, oh yeah, you go, it's okay, you do what you want, you know. I can't stop you, you know. You're, uh, you know, as long as you're having fun, doesn't matter for me. And then it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to there and what about and me? Like, what? You having fun? <laughs> I have fun. It's time for family. 
felt betrayed. Just should have seen it coming. Should have seen it coming. It's always the way, isn't it? Um, hopefully I'll, I'll be done for New Year's. Done what? Yeah. <laughs> because I'm I'm heading to uh, the old San Francisco. Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of like screwing myself. I'm for the first like two weeks of that. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> you're, going to, you're going to San Francisco, though? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Hopefully I can get some refs. I'm like... Um... Yeah, I got a ton of refs when I was there. Yeah, I bet you're first American. Yeah, yeah. Man. Oh, you're lucky. I want to go to America. Pretty, pretty bad. Oh, man. This guy. Um, Mike, did you go to San Francisco? I did, yeah. What, um, what exactly is that to see? Um, the city itself is just fucking awesome, man. I just, I love the, the luck of it and everything. To me, it was like, we were just doing normal shit. We were just like, going to the streets, going to like, random restaurants and stuff. We did like some buses where you go on like a t tour bus. Uh, stuff like that. But to me, it was like, reference C. Yeah. My family just wanted to go like, shopping and stuff. I was like, taking photos of like, fire hydrants and, and like, all the walls and shit. I think I have them somewhere. Oh, my PC just broke. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> you know, I have like I have gigs and gigs of just like America, really cool stuff. Did you so get, recommend that? Did you what Chris did, Mike? <laughs> go what? go in with the homeless men of San Francisco. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You should do that, Kieran. You should become. Homeless. Yeah, I was talking to him about it. He was telling me to you know, just go go down here. Mm. Too yeah. It's just really cool, man. The, the like, pier area is really nice. Um, it's a little cool stuff. I'm going to uh, check out the, uh, the bridge. Which one? You know, there's a bridge. The main one. Uh, the, the, yeah, the gold one. one. The one that's not yeah. gold. Uh, the orange one. The orange bridge. The, uh, the fog there has a name as well. I can't remember what it's called. The fun fair has a name. The fog. Oh, the fog. Smog. So like, yeah. Smoggy day. Really yeah, I was on, on, on Google Images, right? There's like, you can see the bridge, right? I was like, look at the bridge. And then like the next image, yeah. it was just completely foggy. Like, yeah, wow. me, and my, me and my brother have a photo of us standing in front of the bridge, and you can't even see the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> the fog. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool that way. Um... There's also Alcatraz. Oh, prison. yeah. Prison. Isn't there, like, there. that forest? The big forest? That's where uh, I wanted to take, like... You know, the end of, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a little... Really <laughs> <laughs> a new... Where the red, redwoods are, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we really went there, but... Yeah, I guess there is. There's cool parks and stuff in the main city. Oh man, I just love the city because there's all the cool districts. There's like Chinatown area and there's like um, good old Chinatown. There's like business district. There's like right on top of like the Chinatown, like kind of town, Chinatown. Down. 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 Chinatown, cool. little Italy, <laughs> um, little Italy town again, little Tokyo, little Tokyo little to town, little Tokyo town, <laughs> little China, little, little Italy town. Big trouble in Little Italy. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool place, man. I really want to go back. Yeah, so what I'm hoping to do, right, is for those that two weeks, I'll be able to concept. I won't have my computer. So it'll give me time to... You can still, like, chat more. with uh, Canon and stuff and get it, get it planned. Yeah, well, we we definitely need to talk about it, like, next week. If you're doing woods, though, yeah, I'd definitely say go to the to the Redwoods forests then. Yeah. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that kind of woods, though, but... Ah, okay. Good. For, like, the, um, the atmosphere, I guess. Almost. Oh, this looks so bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, oh, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. 
Fuck his, his eyes, I fucking hate them. <laughs> Maybe you're concentrating too much on trying to get to the end when it's the journey that yeah. matters. Yeah, yeah, screw it. I'm just getting whatever. I have no idea what I'm just doing here. <laughs> I've just done four paintings. Man, those are beautiful. Cheers. Yeah, oh, really nice. man, those are really nice. Oh, we've been going for quite a while. Do you want to uh, kind of sum up your process? Yeah, so... you got some really uh, cool Pictures of Robert here. Smith. That's how you start. Yeah. No, like, um, but start seriously... Uh... People at gigs, the colours are really good to like get in there. Mm. And then pictures of environments are really good because you get your you get your sky and then your foreground. It does it all for you. It's automatic. Keeps you honest to yeah. uh, what those environments should look. Yeah. And then. How did I get to it? Yeah, there's like literally nothing here. That's all I did, painted over it a little bit, and then... What's on my layers? Let's find out. It was literally fixing the lighting, and then... <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> making things clearer with your brush strokes, that's all. Mm. It's still not that clear, but it, it, it works. You can send that to someone and they'll be like, hey, we have it's, a mood, uh... we have a castle, we've got water, you know, you can tell what's going on. So yeah, that's how you do that. Don't spend it all awesome. on Fair enough. Just Kieran doing. I think I think your your stuff's changed a bit. I think, Chris. I don't know your style. Like over the the year that I've known you, I feel like the top one. Like I think your lighting is like I don't know. Looking, I don't know. It's looking great. Yeah. Looking fucking epic. Look good. Look great before, but now it's like oh, I don't know. Chris, yeah. You're getting too good, man. <laughs> You're getting good. It's the brightness contrast trick. It's it's that you can keep doing it and it just goes darker. But yeah, basically this is photo bashing, isn't it? Really, mm. to some extent. Essentially, yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you get rid of the photos ultimately, but it is photo bashing. From that, you know. It's worth doing, that's like an hour worth of work. Mm. And you've got four paintings down. That's that's crazy really. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. Like just over an hour. Yeah. I don't know. We should probably wrap it up soon. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how oh, much sorry, my guys, this wasn't live. <laughs> It just won't work. We've tried everything. It just doesn't Mine's work. Still it still says 99%. Yeah. Basically how this works is that will go to 100 and then it'll say, you can now start streaming. It's it's just... Start. <laughs> it just won't do it. I don't know it how you fix that. If it doesn't do it, it doesn't do it. <laughs> um, Max, do you want to play us out? Or any last words? Firstly, guys, anything you want to say? Um. Um. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Bye, Play everybody. Out,